and gentlemen, VIP Promotions proudly present this, the first contest of the evening. The officials have been appointed by the Central Area Council of the British Boxing Board of Control, whose area reps at ringside are Ian Metcalf and Alan Alster. We are live on VIPBoxing.tv with our usual commentators, John Evans and Luke Funchal Madeira. This is four two-minute rounds of boxing in the welterweight division. Introducing to you firstly, boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the multicolored shorts, at the weight she scaled 10 stone, 2 pounds, tonight making her 12th professional appearance, presenting from Panevisi's uh, Lithuania, Veda Masiokheti. <laughs> and opposing her, boxing out of the red corner, wearing the sky blue shorts trimmed with silver. At the weight she scaled 9 stone, 12 pounds, tonight she makes her proud professional debut, presenting from Blackburn, Ebony Collins. Timekeeper at the bell is Gary Grennan from Burnley and the referee in charge of the action, Darren Sargentson from Manchester. Four two minute rounds. Here we go then. This one's scheduled over four two minute rounds. And when people are making the debut, we always talk about those first three minutes being crucial to settle down. Is it more advantageous to have two minutes to settle down or is that a hindrance? I imagine it's gone before you know it. You know, in a blink of an eye, you probably sat down on your stool at the Second end of the first round. round one. Ebony didn't get carried away during the introductions there, did she? You know, didn't even really acknowledge anything, just looked very focused on what was going on. Straight to action, though. You know, we've seen the way to get the best of Vader, haven't we, in the past? You know, move your head uh, if you can land those hooks on your way in. Uh, Ebony's trying to do that, trying to get close. Yeah, Rhiannon found it quite easy to find that target last time. But like you said, it, it's such a short time, this, isn't it? Every round's gone in the blink of an eye. Started positively here, though. Throwing a lot of shots, both of them. Yeah, Vader just taking the centre. Isn't... Surely a nickname's got to be Darth. It is now. <laughs> On these shows, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> just taking the centre of the ring, hasn't she? Just trying to, trying to keep her ebony... At distance there. Nice right hand. Yeah, it's just the odd shot getting through at the moment. And Vader's looking quite good on her feet this time. She seemed rushed with Rihanna Dixon last time, but looks a lot more composed in there tonight. Ebony's settled down in the second minute, hasn't she? You know, first, it a little bit tense and reaching with shots but in the last minute she takes her right hand there but she just settled down hasn't she yeah you can see she's starting to think about her work now as well yeah. that was a nice right hand that got through there big tall imposing girl to fight against didn't she on your debut uh, Vader Masia Katie yeah, and she's clearly quite capable as well. She's doing a decent job in this first round. Coming towards the end of this first round. Yeah. First round in the bank as a professional fighter for Ebony Carly. Yeah, so you just got to try and settle down in this second round now and keep, like I said, that last minute of the first round going. Across all the usual platforms today, of course. Hashtag VIP Boxing Live on Twitter. There's nothing else on tonight, is there, Luke? I don't think so. Not that I know of, anyway. Live and free on VIP TV. Seems to have made that joke far too many times this week in the build-up to this. Hello. Oh, it's a decent crowd in here already, isn't it, considering you know, the Manchester Derby's on. Wouldn't blame people for staying at home and watching that, but no, the crowd are turning out as they always do here. Yeah, it's become one of the favourite venues, hasn't it? The University of Bolton Stadium. I think the fans like it because you can stand at the bar and with a drink and watch. The fighters love it, don't they? Because you can overlook the balcony yeah. while the fights are going on. It's definitely one of the best on the circuit. Yeah, these two aren't afraid to th throw a shot. 
the moment. Both looking to land that big overhand right. Just think if either of these can get the jab going, start throwing some straight shots, landing on the target. They could make it quite easy for themselves. Either girl in there. Eben, Ebony's just coming in with one shot, isn't she? I wonder if she just doubled up that jab it yeah. and able her to get closer, wouldn't it? Just just coming behind it. As it is the smaller girl just on the back foot a little bit. Takes a, takes us probably Vader's best shot of a fight there, just took that flush. Yeah, Vader's just trying to pump that jab out, just to try and keep it in range. Carlin's just trying to give her a, a little bit more movement here, isn't she? Yeah, she's doing quite a good job of getting on the inside. She took a big right hand there, though, through the guard. That's better. Just double jab, just push Vader back there. She could just come in behind that. It's just... Looks a little bit lost for a few seconds there, didn't she, Ebony? Just trying to work out what to do, but... She's just got to try and keep that form instead of overreaching with that right hand. That was a nice shot to the body. Picked that shot well. Tiny little bit of blood from the ear with Ebony Callan. I don't think it's anything to worry about. Keep getting your comments into us. The Oliver family watching from home. Make sure Ryan's not eating anything before he weighs in next week. As we all know what he's like. Oh, well, so it's been a much easier night so far for... Vader Masiakata than it was the first time she appeared on a, a VIP show but she she looks more composed herself doesn't she you know I think uh, didn't quite find her feet against Rihanna and she was on the floor and then never really got into a groove of fight but this one she's just been a little bit more composed yeah Rihanna seemed to settle in a lot quicker that night and she found a rhythm early on and just didn't let Vader settle That's much better. When Ebony doubles up the shots, you know, she went for a hook and a jab there. It's, it does seem to open up more opportunities, doesn't it, than reaching with singles. Trade jabs there. Yeah, Vader's picked some decent shots early on in this third round. Struggling to find that range. Ebony Carlin takes another little shot there on her way in. Yeah, Vader started to find that jab, and like you said, Ebony can't quite get past it at the moment. But he said it earlier on, I think it needs to be twos and threes instead of single shots. Maybe faint with that jab and then throw it. Just pick the right hand to the body quite nicely. Couple of times that's landed. Good, solid jab. But again, it's just, just singles. Vader isn't really making a pay though, is she? You know, Vader's just poking away herself. Yeah, and from the start of the fight where both girls seem to be happy to just throw as many shots as they could. It's more tentative this round. Turn more into bot battle of the jabs. That was a nice right hand to the body again. Vader comes back with a right hand of her own. Three rounds down. Could well be all to fight for this in the fourth round. Yeah, you'd think so. Tough one to score this one so far. There's no doubt the corners will be... Well, both corners will be saying you win this round and you've got a real chance to get some out of this fight.
Just like that, we're into the last round as well. Yeah, it's gone to a blink of an eye, aren't they, these fights? Yeah, and we say in the three-minute rounds, it one big shot, you know, can edge the round on a judge's scorecard, especially in these two-minute rounds. If you la can land a good combination or full rear punches, puts you in a really good position. All right, Ebony Callan will have been sparring much more rounds than, than four twos, won't she? But I bet she feels like she's probably done ten at the moment. You'll be adrenaline dump after this, of her, all the excitement of her debut. She's got to try and close it out now. Yeah, but I don't think there's any coasting, coasting last round here. I think definitely needs to, to put it in the bag if she wants to be absolutely sure of winning, I think. Yeah, and Vader seems to be wanting to get that win as well. Yeah, Vader will be looking for a, a second professional victory. Ebony Carlin's debut, of course. Nice jab there from Carlin. Just managed to just get on, on the outside of uh, the range there of Vader's little counter shot. Don't think it caught her fully. And Vader just seems to be able to catch Ebony with his shot just to buy time and, and create that distance again whenever he does work away inside. Minutes ago, this final round. For that big left hook over the top. The corner calling for Ebony to have a big finish here to this final round. Just has never quite mastered the range, has she, tonight? Head movements kept going, though. You know, it would have been easy to become a sitting target yeah. for uh, Masia Cati. But no. Must be fit, you know, head movements kept going. Not been a, a station target for those right hands. It's just been a, a, a jab, really, that's bothered her, hasn't it? Yeah, and that jab has been good from Vader so far. Really tough one, this, to score. Very interesting to see how referee Darren sargeson has got this one. Darren told me to behave myself before I start commentating tonight, so whatever the result, I'm not going to say anything. wait for the official result from the referee see which way this one has gone Masiaketti just dominated her jab there, I think, and, and kept a distance better than Ebony could close it, didn't she? Yeah, and you can't argue with that. For all boxing info, news, and latest interviews, amateur and pro across the north, click and subscribe. VIP boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.